Connecting with your world. Here's Stace Hall with the VTV Basin Bulletin. Everywhere we've been, every stop we've made, uh, the fans, there's tons of NASCAR fans. I think the NASCAR fans know about it. Uh, and obviously that helps the camp and that helps the Chick-fil-A charity ride. Hey everyone, thanks for clicking with us once again online and local cable channel 6 for VTV's Basin Bulletin. I'm Stace Hall and I've got to give a special shout out to my peeps on Facebook. But anyway, over the next few minutes, we'll keep you up on what's going down in the valley. Well over 100 motorcycles revved through Duchesne, Roosevelt and Vernal on their way east as part of the Kyle Petty Charity Ride, sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Proceeds from the ride across the nation benefit children's charities like Victory Junction, founded in 2004 by Petty and his wife in honor of their late son, Adam. Victory Junction is the camp which serves kids aged 6 through 16 who have chronic and life-threatening illnesses at no cost to the kids' families. To fund the camp, though, Petty says rides like this one are crucial. Uh, we see probably uh, 23, 24 different disease groups, uh, but it's totally free. So it depends on fundraisers like the Chick-fil-A charity ride uh, to be able to generate income and be able to generate press and, and, uh, and to get people interested in it so people go to the website and follow us. The group stopped in Jensen at Split Mountain Travel Center to fill up their bikes' gas tanks from the Sinclair pumps and their stomachs with Quiznos subs. Along for the ride came professional golfer Davis Love III, who won his 20th career PGA Tour event last November. But once we did the ride and we saw the reason for the ride, it wasn't just a bunch of guys out riding motorcycles and, and having fun. It was a great cause. The camp's an incredible place. Uh, the first year we went, my daughter came back the next year and volunteered at camp. Um, she's out here telling people where to go around the gas station, helping out volunteering. and It's just become a big, um, big part of our lives because it's such a great cause. Go along for the ride yourself online with Kyle Petty, Davis Love, and Herschel Walker, who will join the bunch, by clicking on this site, kylepettycharityride.com. There you can donate to the cause, see where the crew is, and also watch recap videos of each day on the trip. The riders started out on the 8th of May in Washington State and will finish the journey on the 17th in Greensboro, North Carolina. Now for community notes. In Roosevelt, the Health and Safety Fair held at Uinta Basin Medical Center is set for Saturday, May 16 from 9 to 1. There will be discounts on health screenings, many of them free. So visit our website, vernal.tv, for that breakdown. If you're going for a screening, though, don't eat or drink anything for at least 12 hours before, but water is okay. In Vernal, the Epilepsy and Seizure Support Group is now held the second Wednesday of every month at 7 o'clock at the Uinta County Library Upstairs Meeting Room. Visit our website for more details. The annual Vernal City Uinta County Fire Department Free Community Breakfast held at the fire station is coming up Saturday the 23rd of May from 7 to 10 a.m. And the newest display at the Western Heritage Museum featuring artwork from Uinta High School Rather, you and a school district students got a kickoff reception to show off their work. The art, much of it under the direction of Brock Thorne, is now on display through the 20th of this month. Thanks for watching Basin Bulletin, everybody. Check out vernal.tv for more. We'll leave you with some more shots of Kyle Petty and company. I'm Stace Hall, and for now, I am out. For additional content and links to submit community information, check out VTV Space and Bulletin online at vernal.tv.